Welcome back to the fifth segment of Intro to Google Classroom. This section is about grading, giving feedback, and the Google Drive view from the teacher's perspective. Let's take a look at the demo class. It is telling me period number, how many students are in the class, and below shows any upcoming assignments. If I open up this class, I can see that I have an assignment due. Underneath of the due date, it is telling how many students have turned in the assignment and how many have not. If I click on the Not Done section, I see which students who are yet to turn in the assignment. I can send them a reminder email by clicking on the checkbox next to their individual names, or if I just want to send a mass email out to all the students who haven't turned in the assignment, I can click on the box above all the students' names. Then if I click on the email icon, it will open up my email and auto-fill the students' email addresses for me. Then I can just create my email and send it to the students. If I go back to the stream for my class, I can also see how many students have turned in the assignment. If I click on the assignment name, I can see the status of the entire class of who has turned in the assignment and who has not, and those submissions I have already graded. If I go back to the stream and click on the turned in number, I see which students have turned in the assignment. I also see any private comments the student has sent to me as a teacher. If I click on the individual student's name, his submission appears below for easy grading. I do not have to go open my drive to find the submission. When I click on the assignment, it makes a copy of the assignment in my drive and opens up the assignment for me. Since the assignment is now turned in, I as a teacher have become the owner of this document. The students now have view-only access at this time. Just like any other doc, I can give constructive feedback to students through comments. When I am done giving feedback, I can just close out of the document and click on the Student Submission tab at the top of the screen. Now I can see submission history underneath of the Done status. I can return this to the student for revisions or as a completed assignment. From this screen, I can give a grade. I choose my point value, which is pretty limiting right now within the classroom with these only these few options, or I can choose this assignment to be ungraded. I then just type in the number corresponding to the grade this student earned. I can also add private comments to each student about the assignment in this section. Once I click return, the assignment is returned to the student and I no longer have edit access to it. I can still comment on the document, but I don't have editing access any longer. One of the most interesting things about Classroom is that although Google is giving you this easy to use platform, it is also making changes to your drive. When I as a teacher go to my Google Drive, Google has already made a folder called Classroom. Inside of that folder are subfolders of every class I've created. If I open one of my folders of a class I created, there are more folders with the name of every assignment I have created for that class. Inside those folders are each student's turned in assignments, so I always have a copy of what they have turned into me, and they also have a copy within their Google Drive as well. Students will only see their own submissions for each class within their classroom folder and drive. They will not see the rest of their classmates' submissions in their own drive. In this video, we have covered how to grade assignments, communicate with the student, and how Classroom is integrated with Drive. You are now ready to use Classroom with your students. Good luck!